Okay, welcome to Q4 segment where we close out the show with a top four list from D4 to Sean Watson. This week, what I want to know is your top sports rivalries of all time. We got the sport, we got all the sports covered. I know you don't know nothing about no MLB, so you already know. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna be no, able to add no really color to that. But give me, <laughs> give me your four. But I, I know a little bit about the Boston and, and uh, New York, though. You might know a little about it, but I know you. I mean, I never you don't watched know that, it. Obviously, you don't know the hatred anybody. involved there. Nah, nah, nah. I don't. I would probably say I grew up Georgia, Florida. Do so. I'm gonna chill with Georgia, Florida. Duke versus North Carolina basketball. Okay. Uh, gotta go with NFL. Cleveland Pittsburgh for show. Sure. Really, Cleveland Pittsburgh is is a bigger rivalry than Cleveland Baltimore. I yeah, feel like Baltimore sure. would be your big. It's even bigger rivalry. than it's even bigger than Cincinnati. I could I, I figured that, but I I ain't know you know. Nah, nah, it's not Baltimore. Like Baltimore is a rivalry. You know, it's a big game for sure. It's up there, but it ain't as like. But didn't yeah, the old didn't the old Cleveland team and I might be wrong didn't the Cleveland team yeah they leaving? went the they went the Baltimore I yeah, felt yeah. like I felt like that's who y'all should be trying to kill every week but I guess Houston and Tennessee is not a big rivalry either and same nah. same thing happened yeah I'll probably say so there's that three Florida. yep did I say Cleveland Pittsburgh in Duke North Carolina Duke North Carolina and then. I'm gonna say this Barcelona Real Madrid because I went, <laughs> I went to the, I went, <laughs> now for real, I went to the classical uh, with two years ago in Madrid. One of the craziest games I've ever experienced for sure. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> it just piped up the whole time. And the whole time is piped up. Like fans sitting down, not sitting down. I mean, they up throwing stuff. It's loud. Streets are lit. That was, yeah, that was definitely one of the best experiences. You know what? You know a game I wish was still a game? Miami, Florida State. When they was both like the dog. You know what I'm saying? When they used to have yeah. the orange and green tinted helmet. And yeah, then Florida State yeah, came out there yeah. the maroon and gold. And it was up. Like, yeah. that used to be the game. And that's just yeah, not, yeah. like, who cares it's about that? It no more. Nah, that used to be like, anymore. that Saturday? That rivalry Saturday, that was the game. Oh, rivalry Saturday, that was the, the, one of the best weekends ever. I mean, you had everybody on. That you know, was the State, Michigan, um, USC, Notre Dame, uh, Clemson, South Carolina, I mean, Florida, Florida State, or some. Who who's bigger though, Florida, Florida State, or Miami and Florida State? I mean, I don't know, but that at that time it was definitely Miami, and Florida State. Like that was the game. Cause they was both in the ACC together, and, oh, or whatever the conference that was in the Big East together. Yeah, and that was every year. Hang your hat on it. That game was like to determine the Big East champion. But I do love your list. You know what I'm saying? You got some good games on there. Of course, you're gonna say the Cleveland Pittsburgh. Then you're gonna give us the Duke, and the North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, and what was your last one? Oh, Barcelona, Real Madrid with yeah. this guy who thinks he's uh, <laughs> the soccer aficionado. I mean, that was a solid list. I think you got to get Ohio State, Michigan on there in some way, shape, or form. But, you know, saying you you from the South. I'm from the Midwest. That was a game I grew up in. Yeah. But solid list nonetheless. I just want to let you know you're not into soccer like that. But we appreciate y'all. <laughs> Thanks for tapping in to another episode of Keep Me Unplugged.